Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Nursing Education Tutor. My name is Cheryl Spencer, and this is pre-conference for the week of February 9th through the 16th. I hope wherever this video finds you, you're having a good day. So let's see what's in the news. The coronavirus is still in the news. And updates recently um, in China, an American citizen died there. And I hope most of you have seen some of these videos of individuals in, in China, Chinese residents being dragged into quarantine spaces. And I, I just can't even imagine being in a circumstance where you believe that you're sick and then you're taken away from your family with little information into another place where other people are infected. So even if you had some type of potential of recovering, you're now surrounded by it. In addition, uh, it was reported that the physician, I believe an ophthalmologist, who had alerted Chinese officials last year uh, sometime about symptoms that look similar to MERS, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, and this coronavirus, which really isn't new. Um, he was mistreated, they didn't believe him, and they basically threatened him. And you know, as an American said, it's very hard sometimes to understand how some people live with the government system that they have. So this physician was forced to continue to work with people that put him at, at risk. So a couple of days, I believe on the 6th, this same 34-year-old physician died of his illness. And it, it made me think about um, certain things. Um, he made me think of empathy. And then in addition, uh, Kobe Bryant, well-known, famous athlete, Los Angeles Lakers, for those of you who don't know, Kobe Bryant was atypical. He came out of high school at um, 18. He did not go to college, entered the NBA, spent 20 or 22 years with the Lakers, one of the greatest players of all time, not just in Laker organization, but in basketball, period. Sadly, he, his daughter, Gianna, the pilot and six more, total of nine people perished on this helicopter they were taking to a plane. And you know, a lot of people are talking about, well, you don't even, people don't know him, why they're so sad. Well, I don't know this physician in China either. And it made me think of the word empathy. And I'm gonna ask you for this week to consider the word empathy as the theme. So what exactly is empathy? When you hear people talk about empathy, they're like, oh, can you put yourself in another person's shoes? Well, that's kind of hard, you know, literally and figuratively. But you know, we talk about sympathy, and sympathy is you can feel sorry for someone. Oh, I'm sorry your loved one dies. If that's all you, sa you said or feel, that's sympathy, and that's okay. Empathy is a little bit more. Empathy is t two things, really. It's cognitive to think of for instance, what does this um, Chinese doctor's family members now feel? First of all, think, and then feel for them. So um, empathy involves cognition, thinking about their feelings, and it also involves affective, how you feel about them. So the same thing with Kobe Bryant, a lot of people in society who are devastated by it. I'm hoping it's because not just he's famous, and a famous person's life means nothing more than somebody who's not famous, otherwise he wouldn't have died. You know, the human body is the human body regardless of your status in society. So consider empathy with regards to your patients. You don't have to like your patient, and that's what I tell students. You st your patient doesn't have to be your friend. They're not your friend. It's a professional relationship. Can I, a nurse, who has never had a hip fracture can ponder, think, oh my goodness, what must that be like for this individual who has ambulatory self-care, now fracture their hip? One, I've thought about it, and then can I have some compassion for them? Compassion is a sign of empathy. And it's really important to understand that. So, ladies and gentlemen, for this week, I ask you to consider somebody else's situation, whether you've experienced it or not. Just Imagine what that person's situation is and think of ways how a nurse can offer compassion, understanding, compassion, and empathy. And that really is a part of being a nurse. So that's our pre-conference for this week, ladies and gentlemen. And the word for the week I'd like you to consider, empathy. As always, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I hope you stay. Have a good day.